Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about something very interesting and at the same time very important and urgent and none of us should miss when we see such a thing on our head CTs. So this is a patient that come, uh, like 20 or 30 year old patient come to the ER with headache. So um, first off, uh, everything that they're gonna order is gonna be regular head CT. Okay, so we do our search pattern, but when we just do regular, uh, just screening through our head CT, we are gonna see that this young person has some signs of craniotomy already. You see that there's bilateral craniotomy changes. And then we see that this patient had some areas of encephalomalacia and hypodensity in the bilateral inferior frontal lobes, in the bilateral temporal lobes. So in this patient, like uh, 20, 30 year old with this kind of stuff, uh, is gonna be a severe traumatic brain injury and sickle of prior TBI with encephalomalacia that is usually involving the inferior frontal lobes and anterior temporal lobes. That is very common location for traumatic injury. Okay, I do my regular search pattern. Also, I see this patient, person that is like in 30s has a little bit of volume loss and ventricles are mildly prominent, which is expected because we already have some volume loss, as you see, this encephalomalacia. But if you look closely, the first thing I do on my search pattern is if you have seen my previous uh, videos on head CT, so you see that uh, the first thing I look is on the, uh, I look at this uh, uh, basically venous sinuses. So you see that this venous sinus is the superior sagittal sinus, you're just coming down, 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 and then suddenly we start seeing that this uh, venous sinus is just getting a very dense, as you see here, so it is very dense, and then we go down, it just keeps getting dense, and then it's in this expected location of the right transverse sinus, it's extremely dense, and then um, it goes down, and then I don't see that much on the left side, the left side looks fine, but you see that the posterior aspect of the sagittal sinus, and then also right transverse sinus are extremely dense. So this is a very important and alarming signing that we should think about uh, venous sinus thrombosis on CT. This is again also, although it's a non-contrast head CT, but it shows us with this uh, extreme density of these uh, venous sinuses, we should uh, like alarm the physician about the venous sinus thrombosis and actually ask them to do a CT venogram or just to do like MRI to see the further extent. So, so this patient had um, venous sinus thrombosis and if I want to show you like how it looks like on MRI, so you see that this patient um, has some sort of post contrast study and when you just follow the superior sagittal sinus you see that all the way the superior sagittal sinus is just filled with uh, thrombosis and then if you go down down you see that it's all involving the right transverse sinus all these filling defects is it's just going to be venous sinus thrombosis very important diagnosis we shouldn't miss it at all uh, especially in young people young women that they are pregnant or on OCP um, or contraception they are going to have increased risk for venous sinus thrombosis so always always uh, just put it in your search pattern on your regular head CT to look at these um, venous sinuses and then this is an interesting entity that is called on the you know, CT venogram is described as a delta empty sign so that basically the appearance of the uh, clot in the venous sinus is called as delta empty sign but it's just described on the CT venogram not the other studies so just remember always have uh, this um, venous sinus thrombosis on your um, like list of search and on every neuro study you look, is it like non-contrast head CT, is it just CT venogram, is it just CTA or brain MRI, everything, you always need to look for flow voice and this is very important diagnosis that we shouldn't miss. Okay, thank you everyone and if you like my video, please make sure to subscribe and follow me on this journey. Thank you.